Hey guys, it's me Raymond and today I'm going to be looking at a Skipper doll and we're going to be doing like an unboxing. So without further ado, here is Pajama Fun Courtney from 1999. Yes, 1999 because you know what? I know a couple videos ago, well, it's been months ago now, but it's been a couple videos ago. Well, I'm sorry. But um well, I basically said that I want, you know, pretty much nothing to do with stuff from then. Well, I lied, okay? Um, I don't know what it is, and I think I mentioned this maybe maybe a video or so ago, that I said, um, you know, uh, I was into, like, the Generation Girls. Well, I almost feel like the Teen Skippers are kind of like Generation Girls in a way because they're kind of like trendy and fun and I mean they're not as like realistic I would say but they still have that like youthful like 90s aesthetic to them that I really like and this doll is absolutely no exception. She's really cute. Uh, I don't know I'm just kind of opening up my my mind and my my heart and opening my heart to Skipper and all the dolls from the 90s. <laughs> so, um, like, I remember when boxes looked like this. I remember when they, like, were pink like this. I remember going to, like, Toys R Us and Walmart and, um, and like, I think, like, Big Lots or something. Like, something like that. KB Toys, too. Oh, my gosh. Uh... <laughs> Yes, I'm old enough to know what KB Toys is, okay? So please stop sassing me. I'm allowed to be nostalgic, okay? Um, you know, I think with my generation in particular, I think we're really nostalgic about stuff. For some reason, we just do not want to let go of our toys. We, I don't know, it's the weirdest thing. So yes, I'm only 22, but I am nostalgic. I'm going through my midlife crisis right now, okay? Sorry, all right? Um, but anyway... So this doll is so cute. I absolutely, I love Courtney. I just, there's something about Courtney that is so cute. Every single doll, it doesn't matter what she looks like. They're all really cute to me. I love them. Um, she's just so different looking all the time. And, and this one is really interesting because she has straight up red hair. And um, I don't really think they did that with Courtney until this doll. Um, I think usually she had brown hair. So this one's kind of funny to me. She's kind of interesting. And... They're at a sleepover, but this girl has a full face of makeup on. She has bright red lips. Um, I mean, it's pretty natural other than that, but she has like Taylor Swift on her mouth. So good for her, but she's really cute. And like her little singular little curl there. Um, I don't know what the other little ponytail is like. It's probably not as curly. Obviously, I haven't taken it out of the box. And this doll is from KB Toys. So there you guys go. <laughs> uh, well... Um, I don't know, I'll show you guys the back of the box, and then we're going to open this girl up. And I have never done an unboxing for you guys, so this is going to be fun. Actually, no, I did once, one other time. Um, it was the Hart family baby and dad, I think. Um, but so I really love these two dolls as well. Um, this is Nikki. She was added when Skipper became Teen Skipper um, in 96, 97. Um, all of their outfits are very similar in their little, like, things that they have going on. Um, they have, like, a, like, a, uh, magic ball, you know what I mean? Like, one of those little balls that you shake and you say, like, oh, you know, um, uh, is, is Jeffrey gonna ask me the prom? And then, like, it says, no way, or something. Um, so, they all have one of those, and they're all in, like, their respective colors that they kind of have all over their clothes. Um... And they all have these little like twisty things, which are fun. I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna test one and see if they glow in the dark or not. Hopefully, hopefully they do. Um, so she's so cute. I absolutely love this doll. But anyway, see there it says, this is like, this almost looks like it's glowing right now. Um, but it says that her, um, what are they calling them? Crazy glow in the dark hair squiggles, squigglies. Um, <laughs> it's a funny name for that, I think. Okay. So I am going to take her out of the box and we're going to give her a look. Ooh, we got some instructions. No catalog though, that's not fun. And this doesn't say anything about Courtney, it just says Skipper on it. So she didn't get her own. <laughs> so mean. Oh, I'm gonna have a hard time opening this, uh, not opening, but blowing up the, the pillow. Oh. 
I'm gonna have to ask my mama to do that. I have a hard time blowing things up, you guys. My niece had a birthday party a while back and it took me forever to blow up a couple balloons. Just because my mouth doesn't like want to go around, like it doesn't, I don't know. Even when like I'm brushing my teeth and I'm like, you know, I have mouth water in my mouth and I'm like, I have to like hold my lip so that the water doesn't fly everywhere. Darn Bell's palsy. Girl, get out. This is when they still had twisty ties. <laughs> oh man. We didn't know how lucky we were. And there's only three of them. No, scratch that, there's four of them. But she does have those little pegs in her head, which I hate that so much. Like I have zero interest in, in Barbie. I know I've said this before, but I just was not interested in Barbie when I was a kid. I, I mean, not new ones anyway. I wanted vintage ones. You know, I just wanted the old ones. I thought those ones were the best. But. I was like, I don't know, just something about it now, I guess, really appeals to me. <laughs> okay, so 10 minutes later, <laughs> um, finally I figured it out and got her out of the box because it honestly took longer than I thought it was going to. Um, oh, she's got a hair in her neck. Okay, so anyway, so here she is. Beautiful, cute little Courtney. Um, her legs are a little like gimpy because of how she was posed in the box, which I absolutely hate. I think that's so annoying. Does anybody know how to like fix it and make her leg like straight or is she stuck like this forever? Because I have a ton of dolls that have like problems like that where they've been packaged like, you know, posed a certain way and, and they just have problems when I take them out. Her hair is also like in dire need of something. It's really bad and like frizzy. So kind of sad, it's really sad. Like that's, this is exactly why I don't keep dolls in the box because it's just like sad for them. And you know, obviously I'm not getting rid of mine. Um, I get it if you are planning on selling them, if you're just doing it for an investment purpose, which I mean, you know, good, whatever, do what you want. But um, if you're a collector and you're keeping your dolls in the box, um, for, you know, like a value purpose. Um, I don't know. I just, it's sad. It's sad to me personally, because like, they just don't last. They just don't last. They flat out just don't last. And, and their stuff doesn't last. Like I'm surprised her rubber bands aren't totally disintegrated. Her hair is stiff. This is stiff. This is when they started doing that really bad. And it is super stiff. This is like Rosie O'Donnell Barbie's hair. I mean, look, you know, even my hair isn't that stiff, so and it takes a lot of hairspray to do this. Um, but she comes with a lot of cute stuff, and I actually got the pillow inflated, even though my mouth just does not want to do stuff like that. It just does not anymore. Stand here, Courtney. Okay, so here's her pillow. And actually, it's really cute because, oh, it came out. Darn it. Stay in there. Okay, um, it's really cute because... Like, I don't know, just something about the late 90s and early 2000s with Mattel, like, a lot of stuff was inflatable for Barbie. Um, there were, like, chairs and beds and obviously pillows. I mean, just lots of stuff that's, like, you know, it's really cool looking. It's super cute and, like, leaves a nice, like, look at my hand. It's kind of cool. Um, so we have that. And she has a cool little sleeping bag that you can use also as a tote bag. Um, so you, what you do is you just kind of like undo this little, um, like, you know, the little squeezy thing. <laughs> I don't really know what that's called. Um, and then you, there's some snaps in here. So you just unsnap them and you pull this through and there you go. It's a sleeping bag for her to get in. And she gets in this way, of course. I mean, it's kind of funny looking, but it's really colorful, which I really like. I like that she's really colorful. Like everything that she comes with is super like brightly colored. I really liked the Camp Barbie um, sleeping bags that kind of like folded up into a book bag. I wish, I kind of wish they would have done that because those were really cool. And they had like glow in the dark stars on them. But you know, that was cool too. Um, I get the feeling that some of the ink in this is gone or I don't know, it might've evaporated or something, but um, it doesn't really work that great. I can't really get it to like, show up very well. This one says, go girl. I don't know if you are even going to be able to see that, but I think that's what it, yeah. Okay. 
I didn't know if it changed, but it's not focusing on it, so. Nope, it's not focusing on it, but it says go girl. Um, I'm actually seeing most of them say go girl. There are a few that say go girl. No, it's really funny. I'm probably not gonna ever use that for anything really, but, and of course here are her slippers. They were taped on her feet, which her feet are like really sticky now and have like residue coming off of them. So that's fun. <laughs> and of course here are her little like twisty, cute things. There's one that's orange and green and pink. And then she comes with like the, the 90s brush. I had no idea they were still using this in like 1999, 2000. Like I thought they probably had used another brush, but I can't remember what came after this because I just remember this. I don't remember any other ones. So, um, I mean, that's Courtney for you. Um, I'm gonna try her little thing and see if it glows in the dark. I'm gonna hold it in front of my lights for a minute. So we'll see, hold on. It's still really light in here. So you probably can't tell. They just look neon and it's probably because of the, the, the light from my phone. But um, they, I mean, they kind of glow, see? I don't, I can't tell if it's the light. <laughs> no, they glow. They do work. I'm going to put one in my hair if I can get it to do it. I'm going to embarrass myself in front of you guys because I don't know how to do this. There we go. Super cute. <laughs> so, oh. <laughs> so this is Courtney, um, pajama fun Courtney. Um, if you guys are interested in Teen Skipper and don't have this doll, I suggest getting her. Just know that her legs are gonna be kind of funny. Um, like I said, if anybody knows any way to fix this, can you please let me know? Cause she's really cute and I don't, I just don't want her legs to be like this. <laughs> so, um, I don't know, but she's super cute. And of course she has like little, um, she's like boy kind of like boxers underneath her, um, her little robe that has cute little like, butterflies on it and stuff. It's really interesting. She's so, like, she's so fun and colorful. I just wish that Mattel would do fun and colorful things like this again. Um, and it's not all pink. I like that. I like that it's not all pink. Even Skipper's isn't all pink. Hers is like blue and, and pink and like a light pink, but still. So anyway, um, I hope that you guys had fun watching this review. Um, and if you haven't already, please check out my film, The Clown, right here. Um, I really hope that you guys like it. I worked really hard on it. Um, and yeah, it's really good. It's really awesome. I did everything for it. I did the music, the voice, acting, all of that. I did everything for the film. So it's all me. It's all original. And it has Skipper in it. Not this version of Skipper, but the pizza party dolls that I own. That I did a review on, which you can also check out on my channel. <laughs> I'm really plugging my videos here. Um, so anyway, have a good day, guys. Um, hopefully I will be back with another review soon. Um, until then, please take care. And anyway, yeah, bye.